Our special guest today is Liz Quant. Liz gives violin lessons in her home and is here to tell us the value of children learning to play the violin. Welcome to our show, Liz. Let your heart sing. I've been wanting to have you on the show because I've heard your violin playing and you are an exquisite violin player. And I know that you're also a gold mine of musical knowledge, especially about the violin. So I'm hoping you can tell us, first of all, a little bit about your musical background and then some tidbits about the violin itself. Well, I'll tell you, my dad started me on violin at age nine. And um, I, of course, I got my degree in violin performance from Indiana University School of Music in 1976, one of the world's finest music schools. And I've been living in Fairfield since 82. And one day, a father brought in three sons for lessons. He said, they're all going to take violin. And I said, well, why violin? And he said, well, he has done study. He did some research that the study of a musical instrument enhances the learning ability of the child, and in particular the violin, more than any other instrument, will enhance the learning ability of the child. Oh, that's good news. I played violin as a child. Yeah, I know. When I practice, I feel very clear after yeah. I practice. So for him, it was the study of the violin. And you know a history of the violin. A little something interesting here. The violin is a direct descendant of the sarangi, which is used to play Indian ragas. The sarangi has 12 strings, and it's very difficult to play. So a lot of people in India use a Western violin to play sarangi music. Um, the purpose of the sarangi is to develop the heart. Now, each of the Gandharvi instruments has a purpose. You know in Western music, the violin sounds like the woman's voice more than any other instrument. The woman's voice is always being considered to be the most beautiful instrument. So the violin is the more beloved instrument over any other. More beautiful music as a result has been written for the violin than any other instrument. Really? And Sheila told me to tell you this. My strings are wound in silver, and my E string is solid gold. I'm quite impressed and by that. And <laughs> my rosin has gold dust in it, and wow. it's just a professional trick. It, and the last teacher I had was a concert violinist, and he said, you know... It does help. It adds, it adds a little glitter to your sounds. So. Uh huh. Well, I can tell by the way you play. There's some glitter there. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Well, you really are a wealth of information. Now we're going to hear a couple of your songs that were performed in a tumwa two years ago. Someone brought in a, just a recording machine and plugged it in. It wasn't a fancy recording machine, but it worked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. The first song is a Welsh song called David of the White Rock. And the second one is called Liebes Gruß by Edward Elgar. Thank you. 
Simply Beautiful, Liz. Thank you for joining us on Let Your Heart Sing. Thank you.